You know who was also there uh, at the UN today? Because they're there every year. It's uh, Trump's buddies from Russia. And there are some stunning new developments in the investigation. We learned over the weekend that Trump lawyers are clashing over how much to cooperate with the Russia inquiry. If only those Trump lawyers were around when he decided how much to cooperate with Russia. <laughs> According to sources, the battle Russia fans and... No, that's all right. That's all right. No, no saber dance. No saber dance. According to sources, this battle pits White House counsel and bass player of your dad's band, Donald <laughs> McGahn, against Trump personal lawyer and man leading high-stakes Zeppelin race to Siam, <laughs> Ty Cobb. Cobb wants to give Mueller as many documents as possible in hopes of getting the investigation over with quickly, while McGahn worries about setting a precedent that would weaken the White House long after Mr. Trump's tenure is over. Yes, that's how Trump's gonna weaken the White House. <laughs> Too much honesty. <laughs> now, this is kind of interesting news. How do we learn this? How do we know this is true? Well, we learned it straight from the mouth of Trump lawyer and frontier dentist who's all gussied up for the barn dance, <laughs> Ty Cobb. A New York Times reporter overheard Cobb talking about the Russia probe at a Washington steakhouse. Either that or the reporter confused Cobb with the steakhouse's mascot. <laughs> How careless is this guy? You're a lawyer just out there mouthing off in public where anyone could hear you? It's like your therapist going out in the waiting room and saying, guess who's having sex dreams about his cousin again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty racy stuff. <laughs> but running his mouth in public isn't the biggest mistake made by Trump lawyer and Wilford Brimley tribute head, <laughs> Ty Cobb. Cobb's biggest blunder is that the steakhouse is on the same block as the New York Times Washington Bureau. <laughs> it's 171 steps away from the Washington Bureau of the New York Times. Don't go to the same place that people eat who are out to get you. <laughs> That's like shaving in a shark tank while wearing a vest of pork chops. <laughs> oh, and this is huge. This is huge. We also just learned that the government wiretapped former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort both before and after the election. This means... <laughs> sure, 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 absolutely. <laughs> you applaud until they wiretap you. <laughs> this means Manafort was under federal investigation when he interviewed to become Trump's campaign manager. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Mr. Manafort, uh, what would you say is your biggest weakness? Well, sometimes I think I work too hard. <laughs> oh, and treason. <laughs> now, we already... Manafort fans here tonight, evidently. <laughs> we already knew the FBI conducted a pre-dawn raid of Manafort's house back in July, but now we've learned that instead of knocking, federal agents picked the lock on his front door, which required prosecutors to persuade a federal judge that Mr. Manafort was likely to destroy evidence. We're not sure what they presented to the judge to prove that, but I'm gonna say it was this picture. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those documents, yes, I think I left them in the furnace room. I'll be right back. Now, if this seems like... <laughs> if this seems like an aggressive investigation, according to one expert, Mueller is setting a tone. It's important early on to strike terror into the hearts of people in Washington. Yeah, you gotta set a tone early in Washington. That's why on the first day of every session, Mitch McConnell walks up to the biggest guy in the Senate and just shivs him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or else... Mitch is sweet meat, man. Yeah. <laughs> They're making turtle soup. Legal experts... Legal experts, it's not a metaphor, it's actual soup. Yeah, soup. Legal experts say Mueller's investigation is moving with unusual speed. Okay, that's nice. Here's the thing, we don't need unusual speed. We need high speed. We need maximum warp. I'm talking, I'm talking... <laughs> Star Wars, Star Trek callbacks, what that is. Yeah. I'm talking fast. I'm talking law and order speed, okay? 
like this. <sighs> Sir, can I ask you a few questions? Of course. The fruit stand's open at 2 a.m., just like everyone else's. What do you know about a man named uh, Paul Manafort? Manafort? Never heard of him. Oh, wait. Was a guy come by last week with his buddy, um, don't remember the name. Blonde hair, President of the United States, last name Clump or Dump, something like that. Anyway, on his way out, he leaves behind this file labeled Secret Russia Collusion Plan. Don't ask me. I'm just the guy unloading cantaloupes. Guilty.